as weird as this may seem, Donald Trump is now being accused of violating the embargo against Cuba back in the late 1990s. Uh, according to an accusation ma made by an organization, Donald Trump sought to invest in Cuba in around the late 1990s, or about uh, 1998, they say. Now, they allege that Trump hotel executives actually went to Cuba to meet with senior officials about possibly doing business there, which of course would be the most likely be the tourism industry. It's very likely that this was about possibly opening a Trump hotel or maybe something under some kind of dummy company, something like that. Now, according to records, over $68,000 was spent on this trip, but it does not appear that he obtained the necessary U.S. Treasury license to spend money in Cuba, which means if these allegations are true, he actually did break the law, or at the very least, his company did so by meeting with top Cuban officials. Now, his he was his campaign has been asked for a comment regarding this accusation. They didn't have any. However, uh, his campaign manager, uh, Kellyanne Conway, went on ABC's program, The View, and she adamantly denied the allegations. Now, this comes to light as you know, Trump's campaign has been very anti-Hispanic. In fact, he has been very anti-Cuban. All of the concessions that Barack Obama has granted the Castro regime were done through executive order which means the next president can reverse them, and that's what I will do if the Castro regime does not meet our demands. So it seems once again that Donald Trump has been caught doing the opposite of what he claims, flip-flopping, and he's been accused of that a lot, saying something but then doing the opposite, or saying something and then saying the opposite later for political gain, you know, otherwise known as simply politics. I just think it's so interesting how he has been, as well in the past, very anti-Cuba, very anti-communist. Well, being a billionaire, you can quite imagine he would be. And yet, at this time, in the late 1990s, he was trying to go under the radar to try to make some money off of the country. For all their bluster about how communism is outright evil, you always get that certain section of the capitalist class that's always very eager to make or to try to make a lot of money off of it. Can we really be surprised at this? That Trump was really willing to break the law in order to make money? Absolutely not. In fact, any billionaire in, in his position probably would have done the exact same thing. But it just shows more about how Trump really isn't all that he appears to be and that there, maybe there's something else going on below the surface. Because, you know, he may be running for president, but he is still a businessman first. Thank you for watching. If you like this program, then please head over to my Patreon page and set up a monthly donation. It's your donations that keep this program running. Also, if you would like, please rate, comment, subscribe, and share in various social media.